So we're going to solve for the domain of this regular function here and its inverse. In order to find the inverse, I'm going to swap out the x and the y values. So f of x is the same thing as saying y is equal to this whole quantity, 3 sine of x, 3 sine of 2x. So I'm going to swap them out. So x, and then I'm going to solve for y again. x is equal to sine, 3 sine of 2y. And then I'm going to, first off, by dividing by 3 is equal to sine 2y. I'm going to take the inverse sine of x over 3. I'm going to divide through by 2. Sine of inverse negative 1 of x over 3 divided by 2. And now uh, the domain uh, or the, the domain on inverse is going to uh, inverse sine is going to be negative 1 to uh, 1. And I bring this up because we need to solve for the inside here. So I'm going to set x divided by 3 is equal to negative 1. And then x divided by 3 is equal to 1. So I multiply each side by 3. And x is going to be equal to 3. And x is going to be equal to negative 3. So our domain for the inverse function is simply going to be negative 3 brackets because it includes the value. 2, 3. So negative 3 to 3, and our inverse function, or our regular function, is simply going to be um, uh, negative infinity to infinity, because you can include all values for that. So the domain, uh, pen's not working again, come on. It's going to give me a bunch of gibberish here, come on. All right, see that? <laughs> all right, so the domain for... Uh, sorry, this should be, this should just be f, and the inverse for negative 1, negative 3, 2, 3. All right, there's your solutions. There you go.